Hi, and welcome to another episode of Azure Perfume Quick Start uh, videos. Today, I would like to talk about scans, scan rule sets, and how they are different to the source definition we did in the last video. The Perfume sources definition, just to recap, it's to register a new source, give it a name, assign it to a collection, to a logical boundary, and there are no credentials needed at this step because there is no metadata import. There is no metadata scan initiated by just defining and registering a source. Perfume scans, on the other side, those are the processes that really do the magic that really do the work and a scan connects to a data source, a scan does the technical inventory as a first step. And the other, the next step is to apply some classifications, data classifications on your metadata of the source. So what is included in a scan definition? Well, it's the information where to scan, which schemas in a database, uh, which folders in a data lake and so on. Plus, there is one major concept, which is called the scan rule set, which defines all the information that should be applied during a scan run. More on that will follow on the next slide. The third, it's the type, if we want to run a full or an incremental scan. And last but not least, it's the schedule definition. Should the scan be run only once or should there be a time-based schedule in the background? So let's move back to the slide. The scan rule set defines two major things. First of all, it's what to scan in a data lake, for example, what are the file types the Perfue scan process should have a look at, text files, JSON files, Bakai files. And on the next step is what list of classification rules is applied after the technical inventory. Those scan rule sets are specific to a source type. So they are uh, system, uh, system delivered scan rule sets for data lake storage, for databases, and so on and so forth. And you are able to create your custom definition not to include every of those 200 classification rules to take your own, to create your own scan rule set. And with that, let's head over to the demo. If I find my browser window somewhere, yeah, Perfue Studio. What we've done in the last time uh, was to register two sources. I've registered one Azure SQL database and one data lake storage. And we've grouped those into collections. So I've created a hierarchy of collections like region wise, Europe, and data lakes and databases as sub collections and assigned the data lake and the database to the appropriate collection. What we need to do now is we need to create a new scan definition. And with that, it's the scan definition for the data lake and it's the, just call it 01. What we need to do is we need to specify the integration runtime that is needed to connect to the source. In our case, it's an Azure data lake storage. So we are using the auto resolve integration runtime. Next, credentials. Well, the Perfue managed identity is used to connect to the data lake storage. What I've done before is I've assigned the appropriate uh, required permissions to my data lake storage account. Use that link that is here and that is linked over there to get more information. What are the required uh, permissions? Collection, well, it's there, but you can't change it because the assets that are scanned afterwards are put into the collection that the source is assigned. Test the connection. It's good to test it up front. That works, continue. And now it's the, the question, what are the pieces and the, the, the parts of data we want to uh, scan and scope our scan? So we've got three containers, I'm gonna use that one. And if there are new folders added in the future, they are included because we've selected the whole uh, structure. 
The scan rule set, as I said, it defines what are, in our case, for the data lake storage account, what are the file types that should be scanned, what are the classification rules that should be applied. And if I head over to the list of scan rule sets, you find them in the data map windows uh, scan rule sets. That is the list of system defined ones. So for every supported source type, as you can see here, there is a predefined scan rule set. If we have a look at the data lake storage uh, scan rule set, that is the list of supported uh, file type for schema extraction and classification and 206 classification rules. So those are the rules for the data lake. Just a quick look for the um, Azure SQL database. That one includes the list of classification rules, 206 classification rules, and no file types are there because, yeah, in the database, we only have a database table schema information. So in today's video, I will use the system defined one, continue, and now it's the time of the scheduling. There is the recurring version or the run once version. In the recurring version, you are able to define what are the days whenever you want to uh, schedule that uh, scan. Gonna save that one, just a quick overview, save and run, which starts the scan. So let's go over here. As you can see, the list changed from for the database, no scans are defined. For the data lake storage, there is one scan defined. I'm gonna go to the details and we see that that scan definition, scan ADLS01, is queued. So it takes some time to uh, get into the uh, in progress state. And what it does, it connects to the data lake. It reads the content of all our folders, of all our containers, gets the file names, and in the next step, it does some schema exploration within those files. And the third step is to apply classification. Classification, one of the topics of one of the next videos, but that is the process where Perfue guesses some data pieces like, oh, that looks like a passport number, oh, that looks like a, an email address, whatever, and it applies those classifications afterwards. To sum it up, well, we're going to add a new scan for the database. So I'm going to add a new scan, which is the Azure SQL. And that one is a little bit different because I need to select the database I would like to scan. So that one is the Productive Datum Bank, our production database. Same um, with the credentials. Already applied it before. Collection cannot be changed. Test connection, that looks good. Continue, select all the assets that should be scanned. So if I only select parts of it, it's not the whole database. New objects wouldn't be scanned in a following scan. If I select everything, new objects will, discovered, will be discovered in a future scan. Continue, I'm gonna use the system defined one including all those 200 classification rules, run it once, continue, save and run. And that's it. It's in the queued state and we are waiting to get some information out of those scans. Let's go back to the data lake and see if the scan, well, it's still in the queued state. Refresh it. No, it's in progress. And what do we see in the detail information of our scans? Well, it's the run ID, it's a GUID, the state, it's type full scan, and 41 assets are discovered, and 20 of them are already classified. So maybe an email address has been found or whatever. And it takes some minutes. I won't bother you with that in the video. And uh, let's see the results and work with the results in one of our next demos. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you next time when it's time for another Azure Perfume quick start video.